Uh, what so, about in, the, in AL Central? I was going to say, there's something up with those Florida teams, man. All of them are just... They can't afford players, first of all. Yeah. They, they just can't afford... They went, from, they went from no major league franchises to two right away. And they've been struggling ever since. You wonder why. I mean, Marlins no, have probably, some rings. And, and the Rays went to the World Series, too. Yeah. Str- struggling in terms of Keeping support. their play, yeah. yeah. Support, support and, and keeping their players. Engagement. Well, that's what you get when when 70% of your fan base is people that didn't grow up in Florida. Right. right? Like Tampa Bay has a lot of people that go down there and retire. It's the same thing. If I was to move to Miami, I'm not going to be a Dolphin fan. True that. I'd be a fan of a lot of other things, but not a Dolphin <laughs> fan. <laughs> Yo. Spanish up. N- not for nothing. Julian Edelman. I know not Julian Edelman. Amendola. Uh, Amendola. Went down there, <laughs> broke up with his lady. Broke up with his lady. You know, that's another prediction that went right. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that turns out. I'm going to call it right now. I don't think that's the best move. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Miami. I'm all for Miami and great all the, the beautiful things that walk around down there. But when it's Miss Universe, it's a completely different ballgame. It's a different ballgame. Yeah. Uh, what about AL Central? Um, I got the Indians winning the AL Central. One thing that... We see with the Indians is a lot of people are just like assuming they're going to win 100 games anymore. And I will say not so fast. They lost Joe Smith and Brian Shaw in the bullpen, which uh, that goes underrated. But those guys were real, like really important to get to that bridge in, with Andrew Miller and and uh, Cody Allen. Sorry, Cody Allen. And then and, and that and the entire end of that bullpen. Right. They lost Carlos Santana, who was a great on base percentage guy, great locker room guy. They lost Jay Bruce, a lot of power. And they lost Mickey Callaway. Now, Mickey Callaway was their, was their <laughs> pitching coach. Now, listen, it's not a big deal, but it's like, a, it's like having a defensive coordinator in the NFL, right? You, or an offensive coordinator. You lose something in terms of scheme. And the Indians' scheme in terms of their pitching was very unique. And that's one of the reasons why I like the Mickey Callaway hire for the Mets was I want to, I want to bring that uniqueness over. And it's, it's going to be interesting to see if they fall into that same thing again. Um, so just keep an eye on that. But they still have one of the best lineups in baseball. Um, Taylor Naquin, Michael Brantley, uh, these are really key guys. Michael Brantley has to stay healthy. Taylor Naquin needs to take the, the next step. But they still got Jose Ramirez. They still got Double E. They still got Lindor. They still got Jason Kipnis. The key to them is going to be their pitching, I think. Also, uh, they brought in Alonzo from the Mariners, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah Alonzo. To replace Santana, I know there's, there's a job off there, but he's a Man. pretty solid guy too. He, yeah, he he's yeah, always been a guy that's more he, he, the hype train around his name is better than the the stats that he produces. He had a career last year from like he had 28 home runs, as most he's ever hit. So yeah. he's a big dude too. I don't know why how he doesn't have any pop. I'm not worried about the Indians in the regular season because I, I don't think there's much to say about them. Pretty similar to the last couple of years, but I'm worried about them in the playoffs. Last two times we've seen them in the playoffs, they've collapsed. Right up 2-0 on the Yankees, they can't close out the series. Up 3-1 on the on the Cubs, can't close out the series. So there's something about you know the thing that Tim always says about the culture, right? He's big on the culture of every particular team, and the Indians might be up 3-0 in a series, and they'll be they'll be feeling like they're down 3-0. You know, it's something about them come postseason time. So that's where I'm worried about them. But I think I think that they'll win the Central this year. And I year. feel like when that happens to you like more than once, you just start to feel like uncomfortable even if you have a lead. Or even when you're in that situation, yeah, if that situation ever arises again, it's like that whole team is familiar with it pretty much. Once is an accident, twice is a problem. Hmm. I got uh, the Twinkies. <laughs> I got the Twinkies in the AL Central. Winning um, the division. Winning the division. They went out and got uh, Jake Odorizzi from the Rays, and they signed Lance Lynn pretty late. I don't know if he'll be – I'm not sure he'll be ready early, but I'm not. He might miss the start of the season just because he signed on late. Everyone knows what's going on. Wasn't with it, it uh, Morrison they got? I think they got Morrison. They did get Logan Morrison too. Yeah, from the Rays. Yeah, but they oh, got they, oh they Odorizzi got Rizzi Odor- Odor- okay for the staff. Um, they needed upgrades at the rotation. You know, you had Irvin Santana as your best pitcher last year, and that's usually a, a problem or never going to end well for your season. But hey, they made the wild card spot, and uh, things went well. But I got you know. They added Addison Reed and Fernando Rodney to the back of their bullpen, and those two are two of the top guys on the on the reliever market this year, behind like Wade Davis and Greg Holland. So they did pretty well there, and um, they're just young. They have Eddie Rosario in left field, Byron Buxton, who came on at the end of last year. He's got to prove that he can sustain that over the course of a season. He was once, you know, the most high prospect in baseball a couple years ago, the number one prospect for years, and uh, he came up and he couldn't really hit. But last year, at the end of the year, he put it all together. He's a beast in the outfield. He's a gold glover. So I like what they have out there. And then Max Kepler in right field, a young outfield that they can keep together. And led by Brian Dozier and Miguel Sano, 
those are two power hitters, the top of the lineup guys that can carry them, I think, through the season. And I think give them enough to beat their take to, you know, dethrone the Indians at the top of the division. I don't know, man. For, for, I don't know. I don't think the Twins make the playoffs this year. Look, they, they jumped from 59 wins to 85. That's a giant jump. And what they got hit in last year was they were 19th in runs allowed. Like yeah, they, they were a, they were horrible. But they, they addressed that. They got Odorizzi and Lynn. Yeah, but that's not Lance Lynn and Odorizzi is not enough to to make up for that big gap in in that giving up that many runs. On top of that, they were they were number five overall in runs all year, but they were first after the trade deadline, and that's when they got really like really really hot. Can you count on them to lead the league in runs again? I I don't know. I don't think you can. Their their lineup is solid, but if you go from fifty nine to eighty five wins. There is something there that just doesn't add up, and I, I really think they're about to regress somewhere in the in the middle. I think they're like a seventy eight win team this year. They're uh, they're the only team in baseball history to lose a hundred games and then make the playoffs the next year. <laughs> I I have an, I have one more team coming out of this division. I think also Polanco being out for eighty games because of PEDs. That's a pretty big blow for them too. I still, I still like what they have. So Noah was hurt last year. You know he could he missed the playoff game or he tried to come back. I can't remember if he was in the lineup that day, but his foot was. I don't know if it was his foot, but he was injured. He missed like the last two games, two couple weeks of the season, and he's their big bopper. And without him, they were nothing. So we'll another see. reason they why they also had a lead on the Yankees, three nothing in the first inning, and Irvin Santana was on the mound. That that's another reason why. What's that? No true ace, and on top of that, if you're that dependent on one player, it takes a toll. I mean, I don't think they're that dependent on. It. They have Joe Maurer. They have other bats, but I'm just saying he's like their power guy. I think they'll be all right. I like the moves in Odorizzi and Lynn to put them over the top. They had no rotation last year, and they still got in the playoffs. That's because they were— They bolstered their bullpen to shorten games with their weak rotation, and they bolstered their starting rotation. We'll see. One thing that we haven't mentioned with them is they're really good at defense. Byron Buxton in the outfield can cover yeah, a lot of ground. Go Glover. So they save a lot of runs that way. I actually have another team coming out of this division, and this is my this is going to be my little bold take of the day. I got the White Sox making the playoffs out of this division. The White Sox make me really like reminiscent of the 2015 Mets that came out of nowhere after 14 and then had all these pitching prospects all come up at the same time and all make this giant impact and and they rode that all the way to the the World Series and if you're looking at the White Sox right now they cleaned house they absolutely cleaned house and they got a lot of good prospects in return if you ask a lot of people around the league did the White Sox do well in these trades like even in the chris sale trade they would tell you that they won those trades considering where they were they have lucas giolito ronaldo lopez carson fulmer carlos Rodon, and michael kopech who's gonna join them later in the year he's the number 10 prospect in baseball all those guys are behind james shields who brings that veteran force yon makata is going to be in his first full season matt davison showed promise you had um avisel garcia who batted 330 last year i think and that was a fluke even if it was like he he did have a really high BABIP, but even if the BABIP comes down, he's still that's three thirty. Like if you come down from three thirty, you still have, are going to be a three hundred hitter. You know what I mean? Like three thirty is not a fluke I over a full season. It, it, it that high might be a fluke, but he's still a good hitter. And you put all those things together, and of course Jose Abreu, who's the big bopper in their lineup, they may need to add a pitcher uh, in the back end of the bullpen. Their bullpen is is not scaring anybody, but I don't know. I just got this feeling I might be one year early. I think you're like two years early. I was going to say because I just pulled up the uh, the win totals in Vegas. You know, Joe, anytime I get a chance to go v- visit Vegas, I will. They have the second lowest of all teams in baseball. Only the Marlins have a worse win total than them. So this is that's the a, truth. You know, this is why he's the HTK, the hot take kid. So Damn, that's great. He, he might be. You might, you've always been, I'll, I'll give you credit, you've always been a year or two early on a lot of teams. Chiefs? Yeah, stop it already. <laughs> Chiefs is the all-timer. But Man. even the Jaguars, too. He's been on the ja- Jaguars bandwagon. Yo, Eloy Jimenez, too, is a name to watch out for. They picked him up in the Quintana trade. So he's a bopper who tore up double A like once he got that change of scenery from the Cubs to the White Sox. So he might be in the majors at some point toward you know July or August. Uh, lot, watch out for him. Lots of young kids doing it the right way, in my opinion. And a lot of guys who are big league ready. I think Giolito's big league ready. Julio needs to put it together. He was also a number one prospect in baseball yeah. for a little bit, and Ronaldo Lopez hasn't been able to put it together. That's those are the two guys that got in the trade for Adam Eaton. Yeah. So who do you have in the AL Central? I got the Indians also, but I got the Twins as another wild card. So opposite of what Boss said, right? No, nah, I don't got the Indians. Oh, in the you don't got the Indians. Yeah. So you just have Twins. Twinkies, baby. 
No wild card? No wild card. 